you picture our world as a pale blue dot, a familiar sphere of life in the cosmos. But for half of Earth's history, that familiar blue image was simply a lie. Before oxygen, our world was a truly alien planet, a place you would not recognize. It was a pale orange dot, wrapped in a toxic haze that paradoxically kept it alive. On this ancient world, the familiar blue skies of today simply did not exist. Instead, a permanent, hazy orange twilight stretched across the sky from horizon to horizon. A dimmer sun struggled to pierce the thick, choking smog of methane gas above. This wasn't an atmosphere like ours. It was a planetary shroud, a dense organic veil. Beneath the orange sky, the oceans held their own alien secret. They were not blue. With no free oxygen to rust the planet, immense quantities of dissolved iron saturated the seas. This turned the oceans a murky, unsettling olive green, a silent world holding its breath. Yet this alien world held a profound paradox at the very heart of its existence. With a fainter sun, the planet should have been frozen solid. But all evidence shows it wasn't. The same toxic gases created a powerful greenhouse effect, trapping just enough heat to survive. Then, deep within the green iron seas, a new form of life began to stir, cyanobacteria. This microbe learned a revolutionary new trick, a kind of planetary magic called photosynthesis. But this magic released a waste product, a corrosive gas that was a lethal poison, oxygen. For millions of years, this poison was absorbed by the iron-rich oceans in a silent chemical war. This reaction caused the seas to rust on a planetary scale, leaving behind vast iron formations. But the oceans could only absorb so much. Soon, the poison began to flood the atmosphere. This triggered the planet's first and greatest mass extinction, wiping out the ancient anaerobic world. The orange sky vanished, the green oceans cleared, and the world plunged into a global ice age. But from the frozen ashes of that first apocalypse, the foundations for a new world were laid. The air you breathe is the ghost of that catastrophe, from a world that died so ours could begin.